What's up guys, it's me, Mr. Mugma, and in today's video, I'm going to be trying to get the brand new unit, Dazai. So, before we get into it, make sure to like and subscribe as I'm trying to hit 2k subs by the end of the year. Anyways, let's get right into it. Alright guys, so the first thing we need to go ahead and get Dazai, as you guys can see, I have four detective shards. So, I'm going to need to make these into a portal real quick, so I'll just hit use. And now we have a detective portal. And basically, the way you get these shards, by the way, are just really rare drops from the normal portals. But now that we have a detective portal, we can go ahead and play through that to get Dalzai. Also, you may see him down here. I originally recorded a video, but the recording got messed up. So, yeah, anyways, let's go get Dalzai. Alright, guys, here we go. Dalzai. And then we got some books, too. Alright, let's go ahead and get the kills and the books to evolve him. Alright guys, I went ahead and got all the materials we need to go ahead and evolve Dazai. So let's go over to areas, traits and evolve, and finally evolve him. This is going to be our second Dazai, and hopefully, hopefully we can get a shiny one soon. I would love if we could get one. But pick unit, Dazai. No, wrong Dazai, this one. And as you guys can see, for 500 supernatural books, we get 35% attack, nullification, and no longer human. So let's evolve him. And there we go. Dazai, no longer human. And I wasn't... I forgot to get stats again. But, um... Yeah, overall... I mean... Yeah, we have two of them now. So I guess let's go ahead. I'm gonna test the higher level one in an infinite. And see how good he actually is. And I'll show you guys his abilities. And yeah, let's go do that. Alright guys, we're now in a hollow world infinite. And let's go ahead, place down Dazai. As you guys can see, he is a ground unit. He is not a hybrid unit, so keep that in mind. He will not be able to hit air units, but his ability is going to change that up a little. So let's place a couple of them down and wait to get some money, and I'll showcase his ability whenever we can get some air hollows. Also guys, keep in mind, I didn't think of this, but his attack is a multi-hit from upgrade 0, so he's going to be doing a lot of damage and especially breaking through enemy shields really fast, so definitely keep that in mind if you want an enemy that can easily break through, or if you want a unit that can easily break through enemy shields. Alright guys, we now have Oshi and Bulma completely maxed, so let's go ahead and check out Dazai and see what he's capable of. So as you guys can see, his starting placement damage is 7,000, but with upgrade 1, this goes to 17, then 35, and at upgrade 3, he gets a race punch, which will make it go up to 53,000, and it'll be a larger AoE, and let's see, yeah, that's about it for now. But as you guys can see, he is only capable, and make sure to keep this in mind, only capable of hitting ground enemies. Let's go to upgrade 4 with 70k, and then upgrade 5, 106,000 damage already. And by the way guys, Dazai is meant to be a support unit, so he's not going to be dealing a lot of damage in terms of just normal raw damage. But here we go guys, as you can see, winged hollows are coming in, and as you guys can see, Dazai is not capable of hitting them, they're saying flying, right? Well, with his ability, no longer human, we click this, and he removes the flying status of the winged hollows and turns them into ground hittable enemies. And I believe, I'm not sure, but I feel like um, over as you upgrade him, his ability might have less of a cooldown. It certainly looks like it's cooling down pretty fast compared to the original in 90 seconds, but He's very good if you're running ground teams in tournament and only capable of hitting ground enemies as ground units are going to be doing far more damage and you're going to be able to hit flying enemies with them now. So overall, I would definitely recommend picking up Dazai. He's fairly useful as a support unit, but outside of that, his damage capabilities are not very high. So make sure to keep that in mind. And I think that wraps up the video. So without further ado, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Have a wonderful day. This is Mr. Moonwind signing off. Goodbye.